Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about the last episode of Love After Lockup, Where Are They Now? Where they shared updates on Kayla and Cheryl. So first, let's start off with Kayla. So when we last saw Kayla and Martel, Kayla was living in Atlanta after she moved down there to be with him. And Martel and her ended up breaking up, so Kayla decided to move back to Houston, Texas. And I don't blame her for not staying in Atlanta because she didn't have anyone down there besides Martel. And since Martel's release, Kayla says he's managed to stay out of trouble, and he's actually been doing good. He's working a full-time job that keeps him pretty busy. Kayla said the first few weeks Martel was out of jail, everything was amazing, and they did Martel dirty because Kayla said the one thing she loved about Martel the most was his smile as they brought up a picture on the screen where you can see his teeth looking like this. And I still don't know why his smile looks like that. I'm assuming it's from the golds because I knew a few people who had gold teeth and over the years of having them, it just literally rotted their teeth down to like little numbs so it looked like they had little baby shark teeth. So things were going great between Kayla and Martell, according to Kayla, until Martell decided to be unfaithful. So Kayla said she wasn't shocked because honestly, she expected him to cheat after all those years of him being locked up. And the thing that made Kayla really upset was the fact that Martell wasn't just hitting it and quitting it. He was sleeping around, still messing with the girls long term behind the scenes. So Kayla was not about to put up with that, so she ended up kicking him to the curb. And she decided to move to another state, and she moved to Texas. And she said she kept Martel in the dark about her moving, since he chose to keep her in the dark when it came to his cheating. So she could tell something was off before she found out about the cheating, because she said Martel, his actions started to change, and he started acting really funny all of a sudden. So that was another reason Kayla wasn't surprised when she found out that Martel was being a little hoe. So in total, Kayla and Martel were together for almost a year and a half once he was released from prison. And they have been broken up for a little over six months now. And Kayla's living the single life. And she said that her inbox is pretty dry, but she thinks it's because a lot of people think she's still messing with Martel. And she thinks that they're probably scared of him. But Kayla did leave the door open for anyone who may be interested in sliding into her DM. She said she's strictly dickly, so men only. But she said she's willing to give Martel another chance in the future if he reaches out to her again and it comes to that. But now things are different because she said in the past that she was just focused on Martel and didn't want to move on. But now she's in a place in her life that she's open to meeting somebody else and she's also open to reconciling with Martel. So she also decided to expose Martel because we all remember the infamous oven scene where he came home to her apartment and he's literally exposing her on national TV for some little crumbs on the oven. Well, Kayla decided to put Martel on blast like he did to her on their season. So she ended up pulling out her phone and she showed a video clip where Martel literally had clothes strung all over the bed all over the floor he had trash and all kinds of junk on the nightstand right next to the bed and then she even showed the toilet where he had crap in the toilet and just left it there which that doesn't even compare to what happened to the stove i'm glad kayla exposed him after he tried to expose her and make her look messy on national tv over literal crumbs and the crazy part is martel cares so much about what people think according to Kayla and that's why she thinks he called her out about the oven and the laundry but the thing is nobody would even notice the stove on the show or the pile of laundry if he didn't point it out so it seemed like he was trying to do everything he could to embarrass her and all that man seemed to care about really was going to the strip club and eating some shrimp alfredo. So I'm glad Kayla is knowing her worth and kicked him to the curb. But from the way she was sounding, it sounded like if he came back tomorrow, she'd be willing to give him another chance and take him back in a heartbeat. 
I was honestly shocked to hear that they had broke up because when I had interviewed her probably about a year or so ago, her and Martel were still together and that was a big shock because a lot of people thought they had broke up because how they had ended towards the end of the season. And I thought since they had lasted that long that they were going to, you know, possibly get married and last forever. If you guys want to continue following Kayla and her story, she uploads frequent vlogs and updates on her YouTube channel, Authentically Kayla. So check that out if you're interested. I also have an interview with her and her YouTube channel is linked in the description. And now let's talk about Cheryl. So Cheryl now has blonde hair. She's still super skinny. And when we last saw Cheryl on her last season, she was working two factory jobs. And now she says she is doing a delivery for a weed dispensary and I would have never thought 10 years ago that we would have weed ubers but here we are and Cheryl said that she is super glad that she got away from Josh when we last saw her on the last season with Josh that was the last time they actually spoke and she says that she's now doing a lot better in her life she said Josh on the other hand has spiraled since they broke up Josh ended up getting with another girl. He got her pregnant. Then not long after he got her pregnant, he ended up getting arrested for possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute. And he ended up getting sent back to prison. And then now he's a dad. And so Josh has a parole hearing in November of 2024. And his estimated parole date is February of 2025 with a mandatory release date of him getting out no later than February 1st of 2028. So he can possibly get out as soon as next year or worst case scenario he has a little over four years left to go so he got a girl pregnant and then he went back to prison and now Josh is gonna miss out on his child's early years and all his early milestones and Cheryl says she has not talked to Josh directly since the show but he has had his friends reach out to her and try to get her to put money or send money to his grandma so his grandma can send money so her his kid can have pampers and it's like I don't know why he thought she would be wanting to do that like why you would want to hit up your ex that you left off on bad terms with and and try to expect her to support you and your new girl's kid. Luckily, Cheryl said no. She said she wasted over $30,000 while she was with him. And she refuses to send him another dollar. And even though things went sour with her and Josh, that didn't steer Cheryl away from wanting to date more inmates. She's now dating a prisoner who's actually locked up with Josh. And he was actually best friends with Josh while they were locked up. And she met him while he was locked up with him. So I guess Cheryl said she was on the phone with Josh one day while they were together. And Josh said that he needed to go to the bathroom and he walked off and let the phone down. So then Josh's friend came up, picked up the phone. He's like, oh yeah, Josh is sick right now. He's going to have to call you back. And then Cheryl later ended up finding out from this dude that Josh was not sick. He actually told his friend to tell her that so he could watch football. So Cheryl says that she has not met this dude she's dating yet in person, but she has big plans to be with him as soon as he's released from prison. She's been saving up money for their house they can get as soon as he gets out. And her current boo has been locked up for two years in total. And when she was asked what he's locked up for, the girl has no idea why. She claims she has never asked him, and I don't know why you want to want to ask the man you're with why he's serving time in prison for. Like, people gotta start doing their research, because all you know, he could be in there for some crimes against children or something super vile. You gotta know what you're getting yourself into. And Cheryl also spoke on when Josh wanted her to have his baby while he was in prison so he wanted to get her pregnant so bad and he was so impatient that he ended up trying to get her pregnant and his parents well his mom that hates Cheryl so bad she actually helped him so according to Cheryl she said that Josh's mom was dating this dude who worked at this mechanic shop and he was getting these small vials there and he would bring these vials in, we'll give them to Josh's mom and she'd bring them in and give them to Josh while she was visiting him. 
then Josh would whack off in them and then save them for Cheryl until she came to visit him. And then he would give them to her. And then she said she would go home, go in the bathroom, and then put whatever was in these vials inside her. But luckily, they never had any luck with her getting pregnant. So I guess that was a miracle. She ended up not getting pregnant. But even her doing it that way is pretty much close to impossible to actually impregnate somebody that way. Like, I don't want to say 100% in case somebody tries to go try it and then they decide to get, they somehow get pregnant. But I know the likelihood is very low because I remember when Nicole and Tia was talking about trying to use a turkey baster and getting pregnant that way. I looked into it and they were saying that once like sperm hits the air, like the strength of it goes down significantly and it's very rare that people actually get pregnant that way. Cheryl is currently living in a hotel. She said that she is between houses and she's waiting for her man to get out before she buys a house because she doesn't want to sign up for another lease when she's not going to most likely live the full lease there. And that's it for all the updates. I was also just like going back and trying to look at what happened that they didn't talk about on the show. And I wish they would have brought up the drama with the ex. Because one of Cheryl's exes ended up coming out and exposing her. And they ended up posting all these pictures where they claimed that Cheryl was allegedly under the influence. And they were showing pictures of her trailer which was completely trashed. And dragging her for having her home look look like that and having an environment like that when she has children and she was claiming that it wasn't her house and she was just over at someone's house visiting and they took pictures and here's what our ex said he said damn she don't get high though come on yo i told you keep this disrespecting me and i'm gonna expose you you just f yourself got your two-year-old baby sleeping on a dirty floor with his sister come on man and yeah, because the babies also didn't have um, anywhere to sleep in these pictures. And these pictures were pretty bad. I didn't cover the show at the time, so I don't have any videos on this. But you guys can look into it. I believe Starcasm has some articles on it. And a few other sources as well. You just have to Google it. But at one point... Her ex was exposing her every single day with a new picture, new video. And a lot of people thought she was going to get her kids taken away. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out my lashes and cosmetics at CoreyAnnAmber.com. I have over 15 plus different styles of lashes ranging from just natural everyday lashes to bold and dramatic. So there's something for everybody. So check that out if you're interested. I also have some big Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales coming up. So mark your calendars. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.